you have a question? We have lots of time, but again, in the interest of oh, fairness, try to limit it to one it or comes. two questions. Oh, he's got them on a note card. We're screwed. <laughs> oh. oh. In episode Excellent. three. Yeah, exactly. In the next shot, it was a winged Appaloosa. Can you explain that? <laughs> you what? The wizard did it line. <laughs> First a picture. Wait, why don't you ask the question, then take the picture of us answering your question instead of... There's an idea, because time. it might... It might look good. It might look like like oh, like we're saying God. something. It's you know? actually, but instead of right, it's a video though, so it's like next. Oh, he's gen. taking a video. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. So he's got Go a ahead. video of me telling him to take the picture. Ask the away. Time. You got lots of people up there. <laughs> cool. All right. So my question is: After the Beast Wars um, success, for this is for great. Um, Thank you, because I. Uh, Neil, you get it too. After you watched <laughs> a lot of episodes of Beast Wars, Neil, what did you have for lunch? <laughs> So after Neil did uh, Robots in Disguise for Optimus Prime, and you became Optimus Prime in the Unicorn Trilogy, who did you uh, mostly focus on? Did you uh, get inspiration from Neil or uh, Peter Collin himself? Well, basically, I copied Neil because I didn't know what to do with the Unicorn Trilogy, so I just, I oh, just followed Oh, shut up. You did not. <laughs> What a lie. I absolutely I almost did. It for a I second. absolutely did because I had no idea. Because you have to remember that when when I started doing Transformers, I was already almost middle aged, so I didn't really grow up with it. My only exposure to Transformers uh, before uh, uh, before uh, the uh, robots and uh, not robots uh, the before the Maximals was a commercial where I used to do all the commercials for. You know, uh, Transformers Generation Two, battery sold separately. You know, <laughs> you were those, that guy. I was that guy, and so that he was, was the battery sold separately guy. That was that was my only exposure to the Transformers, and to this day, I still cannot disassemble and reassemble. I have tried, oh, and yeah, now there are bits and I, pieces. I in will the house. guarantee you. I will guarantee you. Play one of the things that was necessary to play Optimus Prime, not transforming the robots. That was not part of it. I can guarantee you, all four of us would spend a day trying to make a it team. work. Okay, uh. I think you should move the. Yeah, no. <laughs> Some devious little Japanese torture artist was sitting there in the going, Let's really mess them up. <laughs> <laughs> and design this thing. It's almost impossible to put together if you're over ten. So, but uh, yeah, I uh, I I just sort of took my own my own sort of voice voice track and added a bit of him, bit of Peter Cullen, trying to make it sort of an organic thing, and then trying to fit it within those flaps that go. So you like strawberry jam? I didn't think you like strawberry jam. I think strawberry jam is the best jam in the river is when he's actually saying, yes, jet fire, rawhide this way. You know, it, it, was, it was crazy. I was trying to... The, the prelay is like... or Prelay is easy. ADR, very hard. Yes. All right, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. 